All right, so here we are with our 1997 Blazer. It has a 4.3 liter engine. Now, this customer brought this vehicle to me. Uh, the first issue, really the, the main issue that we discussed was the fact that there's a check engine light on and that there's an emissions problem that it won't pass the, the emissions. Of course, it's not gonna pass so long as it has any check engine light on. So what we did was we ran the code and we came up with a P0420 catalyst efficiency below threshold. Um, it, I did narrow it down to bank one. <clears throat> now here's the interesting thing that, uh, that I found out. I do have a dead O2 sensor, but um, interesting enough, what's, what's the main reason for hydrocarbons being produced or what's the main reason for... Uh, for bad emissions uh, to be produced. Well, uh, what happens is anytime you have a temperature inside of the cylinder that is above 1200 degrees Fahrenheit upon combustion, that's going to produce what's called hydrocarbons. Now, um, what what happens is uh, basically the computer reads it and you don't pass emissions just to keep it simple without having to spend four hours explaining stuff to you. Uh, so so the best way to, to pass emissions obviously is to bring that temperature inside of the cylinder down. Um, of course, you could also have a bad O2 sensor. O2 sensors are known to go dead, but before you start placing a bunch of them, there are other systems and things to check. One thing is the exhaust gas recirculatory system, which does exactly what it sounds. It uh, recirculates uh, some exhaust gases back into the cylinder, and it uses the exhaust gases to bring that the temperature of that combustion down. The other thing to look at is also spark plugs. Brand new spark plugs will bring the temperature of a cylinder down. And um, what I find interesting and what's a little bit of, uh, frustrating is I had to apologize to this customer. Uh, they did seem a little cynical at first, and I don't blame them because a lot of people go to mechanics and they get the run around or they pay to have something fixed and it doesn't fix the problem and then the mechanic ends up turning their back on them or or what have you. So, you know, it, in this situation, I believe it's been to a few mechanics ahead of time, and I believe it has a new catalytic converter on it and some other things done to it. And what I found interesting, though, is today, instead of just changing out a bunch of O2 sensors, and, and I, I do have O2 sensors to change out, but uh, I took a little bit extra time, and I went ahead and I pulled the spark plugs here. Now I pulled two spark plugs out of the driver's side or out of the passenger side and two spark plugs out of the driver's side and lo and behold, sure enough, what did we find? Really bad spark plugs. Now if we can get this properly to zoom in here where you can see. Long story short, you're not going to be, it doesn't want to seem to cooperate here, but these spark plugs are not, first of all, that is not properly burnt right there. Uh, as a matter of fact, it looks like there's a little bit of fuel that is not being properly burnt. Not necessarily going to cause a misfire, but fuel not being properly burned in the cylinder and dumping on O2 sensors and catalytic converters will cause a P0420 on a GM vehicle. So now that you can see, if you notice, there's no point on that spark plug whatsoever. That is a completely bad spark plug. Now we went ahead and pulled a second one and we have the same type of firing pattern on this one. Okay. And again, I, I'm, I apologize for the camera. One of these days I'll upgrade. Uh, and so, you know, just looking at the firing pattern, you know, seeing, seeing it's kind of shiny there. From my experience and knowledge, again, I go, that's not a good spark plug. And so we look closely at it and we see that this spark plug as well has no point on it. So then we went ahead and we pulled a couple more spark plugs out of the driver's side. And we found the same problem. Spark plugs that just have a weird burn pattern on them. And so we look and we see that there's no point whatsoever where my fingernail is. There's no point whatsoever on that spark plug. So I'm going to tell you right now, these spark plugs are firing and they are firing hot, super, super hot, I bet you, because they're just not, 
they're just not any good. So I told this customer that I would be looking into that and uh, it looks as if spark plugs as well as a O2 sensor is what is going to p fix this P0420 problem. So over the course of the next couple days, I'm going to get the spark plugs out. I've already taken out the, the, the air filter and, and all that. I do have to, I do need to disconnect the steering and just remove that to the side so I can get to a spark plug that is right down inside of here. Uh, other than that, it's all pretty much straightforward. So yeah, I will take the next couple days. I will replace the spark plugs and the OT sensors and also the other work that we talked about, uh, the CV axle and just a few other minor things here and there. And then what I will do is I will reset the computer and then I will drive cycle the vehicle for 30 to 60 miles to make sure that the check engine light is going to stay off and that our, our issue is fixed. So if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to shoot me an email or send any comments. And I thank you everybody for your support.